typical client uh, is a business to consumer company that has marketing investments and they like to either acquire more customers or increase uh, their uh, goals with the, client, the, the present, you know, present customers. Uh, in general, when you think of acquiring more customers, you can focus either on volume of customers or on quality. You, know, you may want to acquire a specific segment that has better share of wallet with you. But in typical client for us is a blue chip company uh, that will have a sizable market investment and they want to, uh, on the one hand, doing, doing it very efficiently, and on the other hand, learn about those marketing investments, what, what trends consumers care about. Uh, is it important for consumers news? Is it important uh, the value proposition about the seat belt, or is it a, the one about the infotainment system? Uh, you are talking about a bank. Is it important to have a card with points and discounts and miles, or is it about a mortgage? or is it about lower interest rates? What, what do we care about? And we can provide that insight back to them. So in general, it's people who are forward-looking and, and people who are trying to innovate and, and be more efficient. So our experience has been working with very senior you know, people at different, different organizations, different companies. And once they see that this is really not um, a dream, it's a, real, it's a reality, that this is doable, and it works, it works at scale, it's cost efficient. Uh, it's not only that they, uh, they believe in it, they embrace it. Because it's making their dream and their fantasy they had when probably they started in the business a reality. Right now you can launch a TV campaign in 10 days and you can target to specific households. Well, that was a dream, now it's a reality. And it happens and you can get reporting out of that TV campaign how many, um, cards it sold or how many credit cards it sold in 10 more days, household by household. Again, that was a dream. Now it's possible, right? Uh, so we see people who were uh, more experienced or have been working in the old ways, seeing it, seeing the reality of it and saying, well, I must do it. It's not that I want to do it or I like to do it, I must. It's just an imperative. In general, uh, we have a, a strong attraction in several ver industry verticals. We're probably the most expert company in automotive, the automotive vertical. Uh, almost all the automotive manufacturers, the OEMs and their agencies have worked with us. Uh, and their needs tend to be um, not exactly alike because every company has a different strategy, but there seem to be some alignment in the way they go to market. Uh, in terms of uh, other verticals we work with, we have the telecom vertical, uh, we have retailing, the financial, financial industry as well. And you tend to see some patterns that repeat. For example, in many cases, advertisers want to execute budgets at a very local level. They have a certain amount of budget for um, a specific geographic location and a different budget for another location. So they want to be able to manage those budgets. And that cuts across all industries. It seems to be a common problem and a common uh, situation in retailing. You know, uh, in, in general, we also see a spectrum of clients. Some clients are more forward-looking and are more willing to innovate, and other clients want to see that technology is proven before uh, committing to, to, to using it. Uh, but in general, uh, we see in many cases it repeats the need from one client to the next. Measuring return on investment or marketing is a common problem to ev almost everybody. So in that sense, uh, we try to think about solutions that we can apply to different places, uh, obviously without losing sight of uh, trends of a specific industry, like the automotive market, where we can have a strong expertise.